Hey folks, it's me, and I'm here with a video today, CGS Live and Glenn Tipton. Sadly, the CGS Live bit doesn't mean that YouTube have lifted their community guidelines strike. In fact, I've resigned myself now to the fact that they're not going to do that. The fact is we're going to have to wait until the 20th of March. But this video isn't about that. This video is about the fun I've just had this week. I've just been back playing in a live band for a theatrical show, a great British panto. Um, and I've been doing that all of this week and had a really great time. And I took a few little bits of video for you so that I could show you uh, a little bit from in the pit. The, the sound quality is not great. And unfortunately the video is just on my phone sat in the pit next to me, but I thought you'd be interested to see what I've been up to. And it's nice and guitar related. So here's a little look at some of the bits I've been doing this week.
Yeah, we had some real great fun in that. And it was really nice to be reading charts and doing some tabs again, reading some tabs, because I haven't done that for a little while. And the show was incredibly funny. It's a traditional English type thing. I don't think actually some of my American friends will fully understand or appreciate what Panto is all about. But those of you in the UK will. It's just uh, men dressing up as women and women dressing up as men and uh, lots of audience participation. So it was great fun. And the three guys I was playing with in the four piece were just awesome to play with. In fact, we're going to be doing something again together in May, June time. So really, really looking forward to that. We had about 20 odd songs and incidental pieces to learn. And it was just a really, really fun week. So that's why I didn't make a video last week as well. I was really busy on that and having a thoroughly, thoroughly fantastic fun time. Unfortunately, I was reading The Independent a couple of days ago and I saw that the very sad news that Glenn Tipton has had early onset Alzheimer's for around 10 years now. And regrettably, he's finally had to make the decision that he's going to have to stop touring with Judas Priest. And I was reading the article, which I'll give you a little bit of background on now. Judas Priest guitarist Glenn Tipton is to stop touring with the band 10 years after he was diagnosed with the onset of early Parkinson's disease. The 70-year-old musician had until recently continued to play to fans around the world. He is currently able to play the less challenging Priest songs, but the band said, due to the nature of the Parkinson's progression, he wants to let you all know that he won't be touring as such. Instead, Tipton has asked Andy Sneap to play guitar with the band in his place. I want everyone to know that it's vital that the Judas Priest tour go ahead and that I'm not leaving the band. It's simply that my role has changed, Tipton said in a statement. I don't rule out the chance to go on stage as and when I feel able to blast out some priest. So at some point in the not too distant future, I'm really looking forward to seeing all of our wonderful metal maniacs again. Tipton's bandmates Ian Hill, Rob Halford, Richie Faulkner and Scott Travis added, We've been privileged to witness Glenn's determination and steadfast commitment over the years, showing his passion and self-belief through the writing, recording and performing sessions with Priest. He is a true metal hero. We are not surprised by Glenn's insistence that we complete the Firepower Tour and thank Andy for joining us to make Glenn's wishes become real. As Glenn has said, we also can't wait to have him with us at any time, any place on the road. We love you, Glenn. Judas Priest began the North American leg of their Firepower Tour on the 13th of March and concluded on the 1st of May in San Antonio, Texas. Rob Halford went on to say, There have been a lot of emotion today with the announcement. We'll be very happy for Glenn that he's been able to make a decision that's good for him and where he's at right now. Glenn's thing was this, it was all about the band. It was the band, the band, the band. And we said, no, it's about what's best for you. And he said, no, I want what's best for the band, which just goes to show you where his heart's at. The most important thing is that Glenn is still in Judas Priest. It's just that his role is going to be different. He can't tour, but it's going to be great for fans when he comes out every now and then to do Breaking the Law or Living After Midnight. The love that we've had already has been amazing. And I know when he walks on stage, whenever we do that, it's going to be something special. Yes, really sad about Glenn having to stop touring, but I fully understand with the early onset Alzheimer's over the last 10 years that it's got to a stage where he can't and he will, he's not leaving the band, thankfully. He's going to make a few select special appearances, which I'm sure will be very special indeed. Um, I'd just like to wish him and Judas Priest, the band, really, really well. I've been a big fan of theirs for a long time and I just know that they're going to continue and go on uh, despite this little setback and that Glenn's there supporting them as you heard in the article the band comes first the band comes in the middle and the band comes at the end and that's what it should be like for all musicians um i hope you agree let me know what you think down in the comments down below and uh, let me know what you think of my pantomime adventures if you're going to play guitar play it on the real guitar not on the chinese toothpick how do you know the difference Watch China Guitar Skeptic! <laughs>I'll be back really soon with another video and this time I've bought a Fender pedal, a switcher pedal, ABY pedal and you'll be quite interested with what I've achieved with that with the two Tiny Terrors, the Tiny Terror and the Dark Terror through the single 
uh, Harley Benton 2x12 cab. But that's to come in the next video and I'll be back soon with that. And I'm, in the meantime, folks, you take good care.